Hey Poke Trainers, welcome back. We have another top five for you guys today. We're looking at Gen 2's Johto region. This game was awesome, guys. I love the sequel to Red and Blue. Gold and Silver knocked it out of the park, man. They have tons of new features, new mechanics, new Pokemon. This game had it all, man. So excited to go through and give you my top five here. Um, now, uh, a little bit of um, backstory on the top fives. We are excluding starters and we're excluding legendaries. They're going to have their own video, guys. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right into this thing. We are going to look at number five, Heracross, guys. This guy is so cool looking. His whole design is very, very neat. Um, definitely a uh, comparison to Pinsir has been made. Only the one evolution, Gen 1 Pinsir, Gen 2 Heracross love hair across bug and fighting type very cool dual type um, in order to find yourself a hair across a little bit of the frustrating side so you need a pokemon that knows headbutt one of these gen 2 mechanics that we're going to be talking about so on um routes 29 through 33 you can use pokemon's headbutt on certain trees and if you can find a tree that actually has a hair across in it you can catch it. A little bit rare, and your Pokemon is probably going to have a concussion after all the trees that headbutts finding this thing, but it's totally worth it, guys. Bug fighting type, very, very cool Pokemon, easily in the top five. Now, going into number four, we have Houndoom. This guy is awesome. His design is so cool. Gen 2 introduced dark type Pokemon. Gen 1 did not have it. They also introduced fairy type Pokemon in Gen 2. Now, Gen 1 had fairy type Pokemon in it, just not the fairy typing. Jigglypuff and um, Clefairy would later on be dual type, normal, and fairy. However, we're talking about Houndoom, guys. This guy is so cool. In order to find yourselves or to get a Houndoom, you need to find a Houndor first. Now, you can go to Route 7 and you can try to find one, but a new game mechanic that was introduced in Gold and Silver was Day and Night such a cool feature so if you go on route 7 during the day you're not going to find a hound door you have to wait until night time and then you have the possibility of finding hound door now once you level it up enough you can go and get yourselves a hound doom such a cool pokemon dark and fire very cool combination together gen 2 also introduced the daycare system of allowing two pokemon to go in it from there you can actually get eggs another gen 2 mechanic that was um, introduced I'm telling you, Gen 2 had so many new features. Awesome, guys. But I needed all of the Houndors. I wanted all of the puppies, guys. I needed so many Houndors. I don't know why I needed all these Houndors as a kid, but I needed them, guys. Such a cool Pokemon. Easily a top five Pokemon for me. Such a cool Pokemon. How many times can I say Pokemon? I don't know. Anyways, number three, guys. Here we go. Sizor. This guy is so cool. His design is awesome. I love the red on it. Such a cool evolution from Scyther, who's already in and it of its own right a cool Pokemon. Gen 1 had Scyther. Gen 2 is like, you know what? We're going to make this guy even cooler. And um, building on Gen 1 trading. So in Gen 1, you trade a Pokemon could evolve certain pokemon had that so gen 2 is like hey you know what we're going to keep it we like it but you know what we're going to make it even harder for you so another gen 2 mechanic is that pokemon are able to hold items so if you are able to have a metal coat in your inventory you can have scyther hold this metal coat and then you can trade your scyther it becomes a size or trade it back all that stuff fun now if you do not have a metal coat on you you have to go and find one there is one in the game but if you wanted one a little bit early you can actually go to route 39 route 39 contains magnemites and it's a pretty common pokemon there i've hunted magnemites here i've hunted for metal coats here so magnemite has the possibility a very very slim possibility of holding a metal coat now you need a pokemon that knows thief and it needs to be in the front of your party that Pokemon needs to try, it needs to use Thief and try to steal a Metal Coat from a Magnemite. It's not easy, takes forever, super annoying. But once you get that Metal Coat, oh, that feeling of finally accomplishing it, guys, so great. Give it to Scyther, trade it, boom, Scizor. Awesome, Bug and Steel. Steel was also a new typing in Gen 2, guys. Super cool, super cool Pokemon. Going into number two, guys, we have 
Tyranitar. People sometimes forget that this is a Gen 2 Pokemon. This guy has been around forever. His design is awesome. Rock and dark typing. Love the dark typing guys in this game. Such a cool, cool type. Such a cool, cool Pokemon, man. I cannot say this enough. Great all around guy too. Great attack. Very sturdy Pokemon. Um, however, finding this Pokemon may not be the hardest, but you can only find them after you beat the final four. A little annoying that you can't use them in the, um, your main story quest, but um, once you get to Mount, not Mount Moon, I always wanna say Mount Moon, Mount Silver. Once you get to Mount Silver, you can find a Larvitar, then you have to level it up all the way up to 55, guys. Ah, <sighs> so annoying, but totally worth it as you can use him, and spoiler alert, you can fight red on the top of Mount Silver. How cool is that, guys? Gen 2 is just so cool. Now, uh, in the end game, you can actually go into the Kanto region as well, so you can use Tyranitar there as well, guys. Again, such a cool Pokemon. Going into our honorable mention, guys, we are going to be talking about Crobat. I love Crobat. Not enough to be in the top five, and here's why. I hate Zubat. I hate him so much. Gen 1 has turned me off on Zubat. Every time you went in a cave, boom, there's a Zubat. Boom, there's a Zubat. Just everywhere. Super annoying. You can't get through Mount Moon without hitting the Zubat. You can't get through Rock Tunnel without hitting the Zubat. And then Team Rocket's like, you know what? This guy's great. They catch all the Zubats, and every single one of them has a Zubat. Super annoying. <sighs> However, rant over. Once you're in Gen 2, you can get a Zubat. After you reach Azalea Town, you can go to Elix Forest. You can get yourself a Zubat. Level up to Golbat, and then this new feature, Friendship. You need high friendship to evolve certain types of Pokemon. So once you have your friendship level up high enough, you can evolve your Golbat into Crobat. Awesome, poison, flying type, super cool Pokemon. But guys, nothing compares to this number one in the top five. Are you ready for this? It is none other than Umbreon, guys. This is the pinnacle of Gen 2, the Moonlight Pokemon. If you're an avid card collector, you should know all about Umbreon. The Moon Umbreon is a fantastic card. They've got new ones, old ones, awesome Pokemon to have. The design on this thing is beautiful. The fan following for Umbreon is crazy. So many people love this Pokemon. It is a pure dark type Pokemon introduced in Gen 2. In order to get Umbreon, you need to get an Eevee. So in, Go in Goldenrod City, once you uh, complete a few things, I'm not exactly sure, but Bill is there from Gen 1. You can talk to Bill, he can give you an Eevee. Now with this Eevee, you need to level it up and get its friendship high enough in order to evolve it. Now if you evolve it during the day, you're going to get Espeon. Now some people probably like Espeon, me personally, not exactly my favorite. Umbreon though, if you wait till nighttime, and the friendship is high enough, you can evolve Eevee into Umbreon. And guys, it is awesome. Love Umbreon, love these features in this game. This game is so cool. There's my top five, guys. Tell me what you think. Is this a top five you would have? Would you have different Pokemon there? Give me your list in the comments. Tell me which ones I should change. Tell me if I'm crazy. Just talk to me, guys. I'm sitting here bored, all right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Be on the lookout for more top fives. Be on the lookout for openings. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.